Hey guys, welcome to Railroot. Thank you for the desk for the free key. Um, in this game, you... Well, from this overview here, you basically can create routes and which have these are stations and then you get contracts to um, run trains along them if you for, fulfill contracts then you get some money and you get some upgrade points uh yeah let's pause that for a second um right now we can just build the, these two manual signals and trap you can upgrade this um, you can buy more things, more, more platforms. We have upgrades. Um, these are worth, you can't see it because it's hidden under this. But uh, green ones, these green ones are regular routes. Well, these are contracts which are ongoing. And the red ones are single contracts. Just, you just have to fulfill once. These ones are a lot harder to get. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got these are contracts. Um, this is the tab contracts, I mean. So uh, these are things we can actually unlock. We can't unlock these until we've got these. The usual thing, basically. Automization. Um, yeah, this is the route I'm going to basically be taking the game. Let's see how automated we can get this. Uh, controls. Oh, I won't put this under controls. Really. I'll show you about this in a second. Um, yeah, the basic dispatcher, increased station limit. Now, at the moment, we have got, I think, five station limits or three, something like that. Um, we can't own more than three more, more than three stations. To own more than three, we have to click on this to get seven. Then we have to go up to eight, and, I mean, 12, and then we can unlimited down here. As you can see, these are very expensive. Let's get going. Now, the first thing I'm going to do now, yes, actually, let's look at the contracts. We've got no offered contracts, but these are the active contracts. Um, now, so Devoice is the station we were looking at. Burnby is one in the middle to the right here. We'll look at it again in a second. So we've got three trains going up and down there. We've got three Devoice trains going to the docks. Now, these just go straight through. Um, yeah. They are contracts. So starts off here. One will go back here and back and forth. One will go here. Now, the first thing we're going to do, we can build something. And as I've played this before, we are going to add a bit of track onto there. You see, if we don't, to fulfill this contract, we have to go into here and back and we can't do it. Now, the points, by the way, are clicked on here. Now, when it flashes, it tells you there's something happening. At the moment, because it's rather again the game, we actually have to accept the trains. So it flashes at you and it accepts it. Later on, we can upgrade that and it automatically accepts it. So it's COM2, COM11, COM1011. It's coming in. It wants to go to the voice. Right, it wants to go to Bunny and then the voice. So we set this signal. We set this and can go down there. As soon as it gets to here, then we have to click on it, click reverse, and click the signals and put it back again. Now, it wants to go back in, into uh, platform one, so we have to manually do that. Now, as we go through the game, we can automate a few of these things so it's less clicks. So let's, let's, uh, let's go five for now, just to start us off. So the, train was, the train will stop here. We're delayed by four, 400 already. So there's no way we're going to do this one. Now, we've got another train coming up as well. No. No. Click on there, click on there, go back, click on there, reverse. It's very finickety. Now another train's going to come in. It start beeping at us. Let's see if we can actually get this one better. Well, yes, we have to accept it, don't we? So we click on there, click on here, click on there, and it can go straight up. We got minus 4,000 for that because we didn't do it on time. 
Now, if we watch down here, we can see when trains come in. Now, this is us, the red line. At the beginning, this is pretty much all you're going to be doing. You can see, actually, it's got a time on there, and this is our time down the bottom left here. Now, next train to come in is the bu bunny train again. So we've set this back, click on there, click on two, give it uh, the uh, free route. So it's got bars, so I've got to remember to actually uh, set this. There we go, we can set that now. So it can go back into that way. First the train, first the train, off we go. Hopefully actually uh, can make it on time this time. So we've done two out of four trains and this thing goes away forever. Now click again, set the train, this is to the docks. So we've set this uh, the points going the right way. Now that's like a tunnel, so it goes into there. So we've earned three points now. Now this one is going back to Bunny again. I say Bunny. Bud, bud, bubney? Bubney, maybe. Yes, Bubney. This point we'll get. Now what we will do is take away a couple of these contracts and that allow us to do some other stuff. But we're going to wait to the auto reverse. I want to show you the auto reverse first. It actually makes it a little bit easier. Yes, we did. Good. Okay, so we go back here in its own interface control. Oh, which one is it? Auto reversing. Uh, oh, we haven't got one of those yet. All right. Um, these are green. We don't want these yet. We want a red. No, nope, no contracts with red, which is typical. Do you have any better contracts? No, we maybe we can't set them yet. Uh, um, ah, freight. Right, so we upgrade this. It costs us five, but then we can get some red. Right, so we do have a red. Docks to Bunbury. We can do that. So we set this. We set that. We accept it. We click on it. Now, platform one. That one actually gets a red one now. Ooh, but, 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 but. Here is the problem. This is now here to 11.30. Our next train is now going to be very late. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Oh dear. What I should have done is bought another platform. The next one's going to be late as well. But we, we will get at least a red point.
There we go. We've got our five nor one now. So what we can actually do is this train should auto actually reverse. It's a tiny thing, but this means the next one, la one less click. So there you go. It's one less thing to do. It makes it slightly easier. Essentially what this game is, as you progress, it just slightly gets easier. Now let's have a quick talk about the actual track itself. Now, as we can see, we can actually open up more um, platforms. So we do that, we we'll click on this one. Then we will go to build, a bit of track, because that's all we've got. You'll see, when you hover, you'll notice a blue thing. So you click on it. Now, it won't allow us, because of the junction there, to click on it. Um, we can do there, there, and then click on there. So now we've, what we've created is some points here. So next time, actually, no. We also try and, oh, we can't do it. Mm, yeah. Mm. All right, we're going to spend a bit more money. Because we've got 62. We're going to connect this one here into there. When you get these single contracts, they want, as you just saw a minute ago, they generally, the freight spends ages in the uh, platform. We have to go platform two right now. So let's say we had some freight going from the voice here. We could then send to four. If we get some freight coming from the docks, we could send it into one. And we just got to make sure we set the points correctly. Um, later on, there are actually automated points. Um, well, actually automated signals, which set the points for you um but that's quite a way or uh, way away um well other parts of track you've got these things now let's have a quick look um you have to upgrade before we can actually get this it's under controls five elements five of the uh, the green ones auto blocks so we click on it auto blocks are already present on the map yep these things uh usually between stations yeah in other words, but if you want to extend, you have to buy this. Um, it essentially says that you could think of them as a bridge, a tunnel, or or something, some extra bit of work or something, which has to be done on the track rather than just laying some track. So you have to upgrade to have that. So if, or if we wanted to have a track down here, for instance, we'd have to move it around just like we did there and connect it onto one of these platforms. But then we'd have to unlock this. And there were two of them, as you can see. Later on, you'd have one going one way, one going the other. What I'm going to do now, because this game's going to take a long time to play and actually open anything up, I'm going to pause it, continue playing, and then we're going to take it from there. All right, I'll see you in a moment. About three hours have passed. I'm not going to lie, it's felt like a bit of a grind. Um, this is what we built so far. Um, yeah, let's look at the tech. So this is what we opened up. Um, under controls, I opened up these two auto blocks. Uh, yeah, dispatchers, basic dispatcher, increase station limit to seven. Now that's our limit. That's why I haven't built further because we, we've got seven stations. I can't increase it until I get this one. We could obviously open this up, but the problem is I don't see the point of doing so. And I'll tell you why. The game is quite intensive that you have to basically, you're controlling the trains go up and down and you're watching it. You can only really do that in one area. You know, it's got all the way down here. You can't watch a train down here if your screen's up here. So what I've been going for is automation. So we're going like that. And you can see this cost a mint. In fact, these red ones are really quite difficult to get. 
So the last one we're trying for is this one. Now I thought this was going to be the de departure sensor was going to be the saviour. Built on a platform, it controls the auto signals on its ends to automatically route the departing and passing trains to their respective destinations given by their timetables. Reads the next station of the train and creates a route according to the corresponding rule on the routing table. Must have routing table. Must have the routing table defined in the departure sensor detail. Right. So I did this and it seemed to work once and it didn't work after that. Um, I'll give me an example. Right at the beginning, as you saw, we we actually had a train running from here to here. And we had another train running up in here to here. Now I've cut a load of those out. Um, but we still have some doing that. Oh, up to the dock, sorry, up to here. One to Burnby, one to the docks. But now we've got one going out to holes of voice as well. So one of the things I did was set this up to go here, up onto this platform, then set this one up to send it back. It did it once. I thought it was going to work because it seemed to do it. Then I set it to go from this one down through here to here. And then the next train to go here to here to here, up onto that one and back. Again, did it once, but after that, it sent the train, actually it sent the train up here, the first train, which actually that was right, it said it the wrong way around. But then the second train, which should have gone to the docks, is also sent up there. And I'll show you how it works. I wish we would do this one. So, routing table, plus, destination, it's flashing, so don't touch it, these have gone dark. So we're on uh, platform two, yes? No, we're platform four, yes, that's right. And then we're going up to this station. Then it says select connection. Now this is what platform, so we want it to go to here. So it's going to Burnbury on platform two. Very simple. So then we will click on connect on this one. And I see we've got it already. Device, and it goes to two. So it goes from this one to up there and then back again. I said, this doesn't really do it. And I slightly got a little bit mad with it. What I'm thinking is that maybe if I get the last automation, the routing sensor, then maybe it will actually work. I'll tell you what has helped is the auto set trains and the auto reverse. Now auto reverse is uh, only works on a a platform, this is a platform, without anything connected up. If it hasn't, if I'd connected this line up further, then it doesn't auto reverse. So that's why we've got one from here. Now we've got this, this here, we're running on the right. So we go up to four and through if we need to. And then when we're coming back, we go up to one and through. And if we have to come up this way, which we have had to, um, we got to three down and round. Um, double t we've effectively double lined it. So what we've done here is we're running on the right down, up onto that platform and back through that one. Now this doesn't have room to have four lines, otherwise I really would. Um, so this bit here has to be both ways. But we're coming out of this side, one, down, up into wherever. Again, through to that point and there and coming back that way. Um, across this way, what I've been doing, these are just the, the one-offs. Because these are quite easy to control. As long as they're not recurring, we can set this up. We can pause the game, set it up, and actually yeah, do it. So, right, I've spoken for a good few minutes now. So let's um, click on here. Now, what you'll see is the platform number here. And what's it? This is where we are. So the next train's coming in is the Devoice Burnbury Devoice. So we're going to connect on there. Uh, I'll do it manually the first time. There we go, we've set it up for the first one. Now we have also got this one so up to the docks. So we're going to set this one to the docks. So here's our train. Now remember, we've got this auto thing, so it really should work going back, but I'm fairly certain it's not going to and we don't get these points when it doesn't actually uh we're not on time the train will auto reverse 
Oh, it's actually done it. There you go. It's actually done it by itself. I was unexpected. I wasn't expecting that. That's how it should work. Let's see if it does it the next time. So this one is our freight train. Just like the beginning, we're still running these, but we just run less of them so I can actually uh, free up more space for other stuff. So now we've got on platform four is our next train coming through. Devoice again up to here. And we've actually got some space now. We can't do that one. We could, but I'm not going to spend the money. Not going to spend the money. Right. We could do this one. It's worth three grand. Now, these red ones are, I've mentioned this before, I know that these red ones are worth a mint. So we want to get as many of these as possible. Uh, 10 grand is a nice lot of money. We could do that one. Docks. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. Okay. We can most, we can certainly do that one. So we pause the game. We're going to go from here to there. Now you notice I've got two platforms. These, these freight trains wait in the platforms for ages. So don't use a platform you're ever going to use that much. So our other services go up to plat this, this platform. So let's accept that. Click on there. Click on accept. And we will now go through. We should see what time it's going to leave there because it's going back to the docks. 1.55. So our time is here. So we have to remember 1.55. That's got to go back. So we have to manually do that. Right, let's hope that this actually works. Can you do it a second time? He has. Okay, well, <laughs> while I was playing this by myself, it wasn't working, but now it is. Okay, I don't mind. That's good. Because if we can automate this, it means we can actually build up a bit more. Right, and we're going to put it through to here. Ready. And uh, device. What have we got from there? We've got platform one. This one wants to go up to there, which is annoying, I have to say. Right. This leaves at 155. This one gets here at uh, before then, doesn't it? So we're going to scrap that. Put this one into there. No, I'm going to put this one in to there. Why are you doing it? Please stop. Please stop, yeah? Please. Fine. If you right click it, it should stop it, but it doesn't want to. Ah, right, we, I think we've actually got it in now. Maybe actually restarting the game. I had to restart the game, I didn't mention that, but it's actually uh, cured a few things. I don't know, maybe it has. So what we're we going for, 30 of these and we want 10 of those. No, I'll be it. Oh, actually, it won't do itself, will it? Because I just stopped it. Into there, into there, and into there. You wish to go into there. Oh, we should have got this. Uh, we're going to be late. Why are you not working? <laughs> Fine. 
nine. Okay, we're gonna let this one out. If you're really gonna. It's queuing up. Why is it queuing up? Why is the... There is no reason for you to queue up. I would like you just to do that now. Like now. See, this was working before. Oh, fine. This train's going to be really late. We're going to lose a lot of money on this one. But do you think you might want to work? You need to go back to the voice. It's a correct platform. Oh, one of the other upgrades we got was being able to adjust the timetable. Um, when you first start out, you have to accept it on specific platforms. You only have one at the beginning anyway. But later on, that becomes a bit annoying. So they were annoying. So you are able to, uh, with some of the upgrades here, cure that. Um, I don't know why this isn't working. It really isn't, though, is it? See, what we're able to do now, another upgrade, was to um, a routing queue. Now, that's what it's actually doing, this one here. So you can queue up things, so it's actually easier to do. You don't have to wait for it to do it, then do it. But there's nothing ahead of it that I can see. The only thing I can think of doing is deleting that signal. Except I can't. Um, manual signal? Now, what are you doing? Uh, what do you think you're going? Yeah, go. Okay, so there's little blips like this which are annoying me. I think this thing not working earlier was the fact that there's a problem with the game. Yeah. Um, let's put the auto, back to auto signal, because it's actually it's far nicer to have an auto signal. What we got coming up? One is... we got... The, the other one of these coming up. Right. 
Right. Then go. Yeah, good, 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 good. So we've set that up. Now this time it's working. Now this isn't waiting. So we queued that up and it was actually, this time it all worked. So we got some points this time. Got some points for that one as well. We've got another one going to the docks. Let's slow it down. Um, the Swinky is there to Burnbury. I think we can accept that. Ah, oh, I'm going to accept this. It's not ongoing. I can't be bothered with ongoings. So we keep to Libben. Ah. Okay. So we kick down there. Platform three. Off it goes. Now, what time does this actually go back? Actually, we can just set the signals. We can forget about it. Yeah, we can just forget about that. I'm amazed this is still working. I really am amazed. Right, can we get any more jobs? Docs, Libben. Uh, well... Oh, we haven't got that one anyway, so and I don't want to go buy more stuff yet. That's not going, that's not going. I want the red ones. It's tempting to get that one, but. Right, where are you going? You're going there, so set that up. I'm tempted to try the automaton, automation again, but I don't know if that's going to mess anything up again. Voice? Uh, no, we don't want that. So everything's over this side, and we're stuck with that. What time are you leaving? Three thirty. Oh, you're leaving now. So voice, we've got another one to live in. Right, that's our train here, so we have to set this one up manually. So it's finished, we've got the extra point. Click on there, click on the signal, click on the station. So that's 
that was queued up. You saw the one there. That was because it was queuing and waiting for this one. That's what I didn't understand when we had the signal problem earlier. Uh, right. Freight. Voice to Libin again. Now you are going to docks. Uh, you are going all the way back again, aren't you? Yep. Now the difference between, I'm pretty sure I've told you this already, between this signal and this, this is a manual signal, the cheaper ones, these are automated. If you just press the manual, it just goes to the next section. If you press right click, it goes off again. If you're auto, got an automated one, you click on there, you can give it a uh, an actual place. So you click on it, you can click on actual destination. Where well, you click on the next signal, for instance, when we're coming back from here, click on there. The only bit you can click on to here, because that's that section. I'm hoping... Hoping that the last upgrade will be to... You click there, you click on the station, it just works everything out. That would be good. Uh, decline that. I don't want to take any more extra ones on. Docks. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Set that. You're going there. When you go, when are you going there? You're going there about four thirty-five. What time do you leave? You leave at five, so you can have it first. It is very tempting. What time do you leave? 4.46. Ah, very soon. All right, we'll wait, and then we'll get we'll accept another one. leaving at 5.03, aren't you? I think we'll just let him go around that side. So that one's finished. We got that one coming, that's... No, we haven't got that one. Five ten. so we will... As soon as this one's done, we'll let that through. So this is... Points to Liban. Jog me out there.
Let's see if this one actually is queued up properly. I think it will. Yep, it will. This is the receiving platform. So this, this is two here. So this is the one which is being we're sent from. 43 and 10. Right, so built on the track, it controls an auto signal to automatically route the passing tra uh, trains to their respective destinations given by their timetables, reads the next station of a passing train and creates a route according to its corresponding route rule, rule in the routing table. Must be connected to one auto signal and have the routing table defined in the routing sensor. Okay, so now we're going to go to the build. No, we're not. We're going to go to build. No, we're not. Build, build. Routing sensor. Okay. Select an auto signal. That one. Yeah. Yeah, so it's done it. So the bit of an anomaly here. When you put the stations on, this is all actually the buttons pressed for you. You just got to click on something. But on when playing the game, when adding this sensor yeah when you're adding the sensor you need to click the button it's small things okay so we click on there And actually, we we'll give that one. Um, yeah. Okay. Are we going to try to automate this again? Yeah, let's try it. So this is, there's nothing else. Oh, yes, there is. There's the plus here. Um, select your destination. Connection. There. Select your destination. There. Connection is... Hmm. <laughs> See, this got very confused last time I did this. Which way around have we got it? Docks first. Mate, wow, wait, 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 wait. What's the next train coming up? Docks. No. No. The voice. Okay, we're going to change this over. We're going to get rid of the docks one. Make the voice first. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. Right, look, watch. Ah, hmm. Um, okay. Click on here timetable we have two docks and one device i believe on platform one so this one is device then we have docks then we have docks maybe we actually have to do it in that order
docks. Docks. No, it's not. It's already on there. So it doesn't do it doesn't work like that. Okay. Right, so we have to do the same thing on this. If we can if this works, then we can start we could extend it further down. Cause we could forget about these two trains. In fact we can uh, we could start adding more regular trains. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's docks. No, it's not. Platform two. Then we want to, um, docks. That one. Then this one is always going back to there, platform three. So this one. there platform three yeah there really yeah I think so so these signals are on there so that means we could in theory put another signal if we can get this to work put another signal here which trains can actually then start using this properly Okay, well, let's watch to see when it doesn't work. I mean, let's see if it works. We don't need to do it on here because it's just very, it's very simple. Now we got the device coming up. Yeah, okay, well, let's just see. I'm really not thinking this is going to work. Okay, it did it. I suppose the, the proof of the pudding, if it actually can come back again. It's sending it down there. I don't like that. Now it's right. Okay. This train's meant to go to the docks. This was happening before. It's going up there. So we will lose the money for this one now. Well, there'll be times you want to buy, and I've uh, played on a bit, and I've worked out what I was actually doing wrong. Right. The first, if you remember, I said I couldn't get this one to work. Uh, yeah. That was just a bug, I think. Right. What I've done, I just, because we don't need anything else, it just goes down one line, up and down one line now. Now these two, the t one which went from the docks and the one which went up to here, it was always going up to here. Actually, it's a, it's a day later for me, so uh, I've just put the game back on again, had another little look, worked out what I was doing wrong. The problem is, you do need, as far as I can see, um, you need the routing sensor. The departure sensor is if you've got a straight line between your one, one station and another and it goes back, this one's absolutely fine. But you do need the routing sensor if you've got a bit more, something a little bit more complicated. Now, I had set the routing center, set sensor to this one. The thing is, it bypassed this signal before it got to the sensor, so the sensor couldn't do anything. Duh. So I put another signal in, put it there, and now it works. Funny that. Now, also, another, next thing I did wrong 
when you get your click on the sensor and you choose where you want to go let's say the docks here and for there again it's the docks but let's say this we want to go to this one so we can see it's there's hollow rice but the track we've gone up to the next signal and so you don't actually have to see look it goes dark so you don't actually have to click on the station you can click on there so I did then this signal was near before I put this in also I put another sensor here so it's always this sensor is always set to go to this one but then we've got the for the uh, for that for that service but if there's anything else that comes let's say a freight then we use the else and that will end up on platform four so it automatically set uh, set that as well um yeah I was just being an idiot um it works and in a second we can actually have a look at it working which automation is really important in this game because it will allow you to expand to other areas and just forget about this um what i didn't understand was you could actually you, you could click you, you could didn't just set it to the platforms you could just set it to anywhere I thought it was important before uploading the video just to actually uh, clarify that this is me being an idiot. So here we go, it's set it now. So it's this sensor sending it to here to set everything in front. Coming back, that sends it to here. And then we have another sensor from here sending it back to here. So another little issue. Because it got stuck here. And then as this comes by, the next one will route and then it hits that sensor and it tells it to go to here. It's fairly simple, actually. <laughs> Sometimes when you look at things, though, you can't actually get them. Um, until you step away and actually go back to it. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a long one. Um, we will come back to the game, actually. Um, I don't like the the bonds and whatever they're called these things so much it feels like a bit of a grind but the actual setting it up yeah that's fun so uh yeah we'll all come back to it we'll do another episode where it's we'll stay here we'll expand it further now we've actually worked out or i've worked out how to actually uh do this then uh yeah then we can probably expand a bit further Brilliant. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding-dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye-zee-bye. -bye.